Hi, Simon here. Uh, something absolutely amazing to show you. I've literally just got back from the park. I've literally just run every single lipo that I have uh, through uh, through this new quadcopter. Uh, and I'm super excited. Um, so, let's see if we can do this. Starting from the back, it looks like a normal uh, 250, right? It's uh, based on the, the uh, tarot frame. Uh, which is kind of an annoying frame to put together, but uh, I chose it for a reason, and that reason is 3D FPV. Yep, this is the NerdCam 3D. Uh, it's one of the only, probably the only uh, side-by-side -side 3D FPV camera, uh, and I've got it wired into a single uh, 600 milliwatt immersion video transmitter. Uh, there's other 3D systems out there, the Skyzone 3D system uses two channels uh, and they're not actually that tight, the channel, so it basically stomps all over the whole band, so you can't really race with it. Um, but this camera's been a long time coming and it's now generally available, but the downside is the only goggles that it works with uh, is the Fatshark Dominator HD, or the only normal goggles, I think it works with the Cinemizer as well, but the main goggles that it was designed for is the Fatshark Dominator HD, which you now can't get. Um, but if you have a Touch Arc Dominator HD, then get this camera. It is mind blowing. It is absolutely amazing. You know, the first time you put on an FPV goggles and go FPV flying, it's sort of it's a great experience. But the first time you do it, it's kind of disappointing because you realise the screen's a lot smaller and more closed in than you you uh, were expecting, and and there's not really that depth. And it's not until your brain learns to rebuild a 3D model in your head that you actually start to feel comfortable flying uh, FPV, especially flying proximity. And then you, you, know, you have all the fun because you, you, you know, you're flying through a 3D mental model. This is completely different. When you take off and you fly with this, it's like you're there. You are in it. Like, you fly up to things and you do things that you would never do. Like, you know when you're flying line of sight and you'll quite happily hover your quad sort of 10, 15 centimetres away from something, but you probably wouldn't do that flying FPV because you just don't have the sense of, like, where you are and how you're moving because you just don't have that stereoscopic vision. With this, I was just flying through gaps, like branches in trees that were probably... I mean, I heard the props go ting, ting, ting. Unbreakable props, by the way. These are awesome. Um... And like just like just slowly like moving my way through trees. We have these big London plains trees around here, like with massive branches and like there's really annoying little leaves that you just can't see on a 2D camera. But for some reason with the depth perception they kind of stick out and you just know exactly where you are and you have no problem like flying through them and around them. And I just basically spent like seven lipos, uh, like going in and out of trees and like slowly building up my confidence, because this is a new quad as well. Um uh, I should stop gushing and explain it a little bit uh, more, more, more coherently. So, uh, from the so what we've actually got is the Tarot 250 frame. It's a crappy frame. I don't like it. Um, I bought it for one specific reason, and that reason is it's kind of thin and flat, and you can mount the camera below the plane of the uh, motor blades. So I couldn't, uh, for example, put a 3D camera on like a, a blackout because, as you can see, it was just too wide. Like the 3D camera would actually be in the plane of the motors, whereas with the Tarot 250 frame, you can um, mount the camera below the plane of the motors, which is why I chose it. Um, it's got these like Tarot 450 helicopter skids, which are actually pretty cool. I like them a lot. Um, I had a, a, a few like skid landings, once trying to avoid a dog that was trying to bite me. Um, so yeah, they're okay. But the Tarot 250 frame by itself, if you don't have a 3D printer to print yourself a tray, it's really, really annoying because you can't actually put anything between these two layers. That's a power distribution board, that's a single piece of carbon. Um, there's no room in there to put anything in there. So you're either expected to just put everything on top and then put the battery on the bottom, or put everything you know, in, in a tray that you don't get. Anyway, so I knocked, uh, knocked this up in SolidWorks and printed it yesterday, um, and it makes it nice and tidy, but it's kind of hard to work on. Um, so, yeah, I don't really like this frame. Uh, the other thing I had to do was I took the back part of the nerd cam off and made like a very thin little plastic sheet to make it easier to attach to the the um, mounting board of the tarot frame, which is obviously designed for a single camera. Uh, but I need to change this whole system. Um, I'm also running the new SPR F3. This is um, Dominic Clifton from Clean Flight's uh, custom microcontroller, which is designed to take on the Nays. Uh, it's an awesome little flight controller. It, 
looks and feels just like a NAS because obviously it runs clean flight, but it's got uh, so many extra ports and all the ports are software controllable and you can uh, attach everything at the same time. So if you want to have like a little, uh, a little, if you want to have an on-screen display plus like a little screen here, plus sonar, plus GPS, plus, you know, I swear everything all on one flight controller that runs clean flight, this is definitely the one. It's also got a faster CPU, I think. I think the F3 is a faster CPU. But anyway, a lot of the um, FPV League races are, are, are getting these and now putting them in quads to race. Um, so the rest of the quads pretty much normal. It's just a normal 600 milliwatt transmitter. I had this one left over from Airheads. Um, yeah, the normal DYS motors and these unbreakable props. Like I've, tonight I had three impacts with trees. Uh, one, I flew into like a, a pine tree uh, and chopped like a chunk out of the pine tree. One, I was doing like really high speed proximity about that far from the ground and I just clipped a vine. Uh, and the thing about these unbreakable props is they don't break, obviously, uh, but they do have a tendency to actually, they're so strong, they actually have a tendency to unlock your um, collets or your prop nuts. Um, so just something to bear in mind, I think the unbreakable props are actually going to cause a lot more broken motors and broken motor shafts and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so apart from that, it's pretty normalish quad. Um, so 3D FPV, uh, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I don't know what else I can say about it. Like you have to experience it. It's really, it's hard to explain because unless you have an Oculus Rift um, and can go look at some 3D FPV footage, or you go find someone who has one of these and get to try it, it's just like nothing else. Like the, you think you're going close and fast to the ground and then you realize you can drop another sort of maybe 10 centimeters and the ground plane just rushes past you and it just gets your heart racing. It's absolutely addictive. It really feels like, like I don't even know how to describe it, 3D wipeout, it's just like unbelievable. Unbelievable. So anyway, um, yeah, so uh, I'm probably going to fly this two or three more times. I don't have any protection on the front of this camera. This camera was like 140 quid, so um, and I don't think there's that many of them in the world. So I'm probably going to um, get Stefan from Thug Frames to build me like a custom um, carbon plate. So build a frame that's a custom part carbon plate above that and then put another thin little carbon plate below it and then just put all of the electronics inside and just build a totally custom quad around this um, around this camera system because it's just too amazing. It's absolutely mind-blowing. Anyway, that's me gushing enough for this evening. Uh, yeah, Nerdcam 3D. Get one.